Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you're well. I narrate this to you with a heavy heart. We all are getting immunized to the suffering of Ummah. Do we feel it anymore? But is it really hurting us or we got used to it? None of us are superior except in piety. Brothers and sisters, if you read Uyghur stories, that will definitely shake you to the core. Imagine going through it. Children separated from parents, can't even say salam, can't do the hijab, cannot install Quran app in the phone, and whatnot. You name a thing about Islam and see what China is doing in Xinjiang. There are things I can't say here because of the sensitivity, how ignorant we were to just assume colonization is the Western concept. No matter what, China wants Xinjiang Muslims to be sinicized. They are erasing their culture, their script. Now here's another news that really triggered us. President Xi Jinping has asked officials to step up efforts to uphold the principle that Islam in China must be Chinese in orientation, and religions in the country should adapt to the socialist society being pursued by the ruling Communist Party of China. Xi visited the volatile Xinjiang region where the Chinese security forces for the last several years have made efforts to control protests by Uyghur Muslims over settlements from Han Chinese from outside the province. Well, I just read the news to you here. This is how civilized vocabulary is used to hide the grave crimes. Maybe grave crimes is a smaller word. I understand it better when I see oppressive regimes. Allah is the wise and the best of planners. Stressing the importance of cultural identity, Xi called for educating and guiding people of all ethnic groups to strengthen their identification with the motherland, the Chinese nation, Chinese culture, the Communist Party of China, CPC, and socialism with Chinese characteristics. Everything that happens is written. Three million of them are in concentration camps. It's even beyond imagination. Things like that can happen and 21st century. Allahu Akbar. So what can we do? Duha, to avoid Chinese products. It's difficult to ban them completely, but avoid as much as possible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Uyghurs highest levels of Jannah and free them from Chinese Communist Party's oppression. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.